Zoom. Oh. I guess this is kind of funny. All right, here we go. Buckle up. <laughs> I mean, it has a sad ending, but... Um, so, this was in elementary school, and I had, like... I always slept over at my friend's house or, like, went home with her after school, especially on Wednesdays, because there was, like, the Wednesday night, like, church kids group thing that happens. And so there was one night where... I think that we both like didn't want to go me and my friend and she had like this probably like this cheap like red hair gel or something from like justice or something i mean she it probably wasn't from justice but like a little kid like like fake makeup thing and i was like oh my gosh i was like do you want to go tonight and she, it was like we did, both didn't want to go and i was like you know what i what what we can do to like get out of going and I was like, we can put this, like, red stuff on our face like we have chicken pox. <laughs> and so we put this stuff on our face like we had chicken pox. And then we were like, oh, we feel so <laughs> sick and, like, pretending to itch. And, like, <laughs> like, we have chicken pox to her mom. And her mom got so mad, like, mad. And she was like... I don't remember what she said, but, like, she made it seem... Okay, so, like, in the Christian... I don't know how it is now, like, Christian households. But back then, spanking was very encouraged. So... I think uh, spanking is just one of those things that it was very encouraged at that time. Just, yeah. like, with a lot of families. Like, uh, my dad... But specifically in the... You think specifically Christian, it was more popular? Down, yes, without like, a heartbeat, yes. Like, my, without a heartbeat? Like, my, my dad, <laughs> my dad spanked me once, like, my parents tell the story, like, he spanked me once and then, like, felt so bad that, like, they were like, we're not gonna spank our kids. Yeah. So that's what, that was Well, there. like, for me, if you got, like, so many demerits in, in elementary school, you got a spanking letter. That seems like it should be illegal. It does seem like that should be illegal. Like... And there was one kid that was so quote unquote bad that he literally had a spanking letter like every single day. And like to the point where his dad I think broke the paddle on him. Like like this is how it worked. If you got a spanking letter, your parent would have to come into school. Sorry, I think I just bumped the microphone. If you got a spanking letter, a, your, one of your parents or both of them would have to come to the school. You, your parent, and the principal would go into this room and the principal would have to watch your parent spank you. That's gross. Like, they, like, the principal, like, was the pastor, too. So, like, the principal pastor had to watch you get spanked and watch your parent, like, explain to you why you were getting spanked. I don't know how it ever went. I don't know if... I wonder if my brother ever got a spanking letter. I don't think I ever did. But, like, just looking back on it, it was so cruel and like disgusting like absolutely disgusting but um so the way the story is going you can probably tell that i stayed over at this friend's house she lived like five minutes from the school like we were kind of like best friends and so when her mom got so mad she was like like wait till your father like gets home basically type a beat whatever you want to say and um so when he got home he spanked her and they like made you no like in their parents bedroom but they made me sit outside the door like on the couch and like in the living room and like m made me feel like this is your fault no like they were about to spank me oh and, and almost like i like i'm gonna call your parents like, and if they say we can spank you, then we're going to spank you type thing. What do you think your parents would have done if they had told your parents or like... I don't know if they anything? ever did. Well, they obviously had to have told them, but like, I didn't get spanked when I got home. Did they even like talk to you about it or anything? I don't remember. I don't remember. Honestly, I kind of want to ask my mom about it. Like, I want to call her right now and ask. But I like remember being just so terrified and like being like, I don't feel safe here. Like, I don't want to be here. You don't feel safe, you know? It's like a little kid putting red 
red dots of makeup on their face and being like, oh, I have chicken pox. I don't want to go to, like, this church thing tonight. Like, obviously, sometimes kids aren't going to want to do things. Well, yeah, that's like... That's just like a, like... I don't know. It's one of those, like, funny things, like... Yeah, it could have been something that I looked back on and laughed and be like, oh, remember when we did that? But no, it's like, I was traumatized. Yeah, it's like... Oh, yeah, remember when... Oh, wait, yeah, your parents beat you. Yeah. <laughs> remember when? I wonder oh. if they ever, like, look back on spanking their children and, like, regret it. I know that, like... Well, I don't know this, but I think that my parents wish they never had. But I remember... Well, like, when I talk about my mom with it, she, when I talked to my mom about it, she's like, it was very encouraged in the church. Like, whenever you went to the church to try to, like talk about your children's behavior and get help in that way they always said like the first thing you need to do is spank them it was always like that and so it was just like really sad because some of the issues that like my brothers had were brain issues like you can't spank a mental illness out of someone yeah and like what is that like you're not gonna not to get like heated about this but if you're in a relationship with someone even an older child and they do something incorrectly you're not going to hit them because they did something incorrectly or something that you didn't like or because you're angry and if you do hit them you can go to jail well, you should just never hit anybody Especially not out of anger, but it's just like, you should just never hit anybody. I agree. But, like, the concept that it's okay to hit little humans who, A, might not be able to communicate how they're feeling, B, might be doing something because there's something wrong, and a lot of times, children's behaviors are a d direct reflection of something that is happening in their life, or an uncomfort- an uncomfortable- uncomfortable- I can't say that word, I always mess it up. But like, like that night, us not wanting to go could have been because we were completely exhausted by the week. We were completely exhausted by that day. We wanted to just have a break. Or, honestly, I don't, I don't know. It could have been just us being little kids and wanting to, like, watch movies instead of go to, like, a church event. You know what I mean? But, like, like the day of the election, I, I didn't tell my mom at all that I was being bullied. Um, but the day of the election that was between McCain and Obama, or like the day after or whatever, I literally refused to get in the car. I cried so hard to the point where my mom like knew, ha obviously like knew something was wrong. I'm so curious to know like how much she knew about that time period. That would be really interesting. I'm going to have a, dis a discussion with her about that. But yeah, I guess my thoughts are... Hitting kids is stupid. Hitting anyone is not acceptable. Oh shit, shit, shit. Is that you? Who's the other guy? It's a boss. But I thought there was three peeps in here. Huh? Nothing. I'll let you focus. Holy shit, I just beat Father Gaspar in the first round. Holy fuck. And we got it on camera. Let's go. <laughs> when we're talking about beating children. Oh, I was like so nervous that I was going to embarrass myself and have to do that like eight times, but we did it, folks. Woo! My heart is beating pretty fast. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but that just reminded me like... It's, it, it's not sad. Well, like... What's not sad? The... the where I thought you were going with that story was just, like, that it was going to be funny. Yeah. So, like, when you were telling, like, a story of, like, basically playing hooky type thing. Uh-huh. I was just kind of, like, remembering, like, what it, what it felt like to, like, skip school, you know? Mm -hmm. My heart's beating so fast. I have so much, like, adrenaline that I can't, like, talk normally. <laughs> but, like, um... Like when we were in high school? No, not that. I, I was thinking more, like, middle school. Because in elementary school... Oh, okay. Actually, I do have a story about skipping school in elementary school that I'll get back to, but, like, like, in middle school, I remember the feeling of, like, when I would skip school, it would be, like, really cool for, like, two hours, <laughs> and then it'd get to a certain point where it'd kind of be, like... How did you skip? Say you were sick. Oh, like that. Like yeah. I mean, like... <laughs> yeah, and then, like, I'd, I'd, like, play video games for two hours and be like, yeah, this is fucking awesome. My, my, uh... 
Like, I'd sleep in for a little bit till my parents left, like, made sure that they were gone. And then, like, God damn it. And then, like, just, like, play video games for a couple hours. Mm hmm And then I'd, I'd remember it would just, like... The, there's, like, a... That's so wild to me. There's, like, a metamorphosis throughout the day where it goes from, like, yeah, this is awesome, I get to play video games, and, like, my friends are all, like, in school, well, like, what idiots, like... <laughs> but then it gets to a certain point where it's, like, you start to kind of feel guilty, and it's, like, man, the school day's almost over, and, like, my friends are just gonna have to, like, do their homework, and then they're done, but, like, when I go back, I'm gonna have to do, like, two days' worth of homework, you know? Yeah. And it's, like, was it really worth it to play video games for a couple hours and sleep in? And I just remembered, like... I never had, shit. like, that type of experience until I was in high school, but not even, like, in that same way, because my mom was a stay-at-home mom, so my mom was, like, always home, like, if you were sick. Yeah, so you wouldn't even, like, get a get a free moment? No. Like, of privacy? Yeah. No, it was like, do you need soup? Like, here's the throw-up bucket. <laughs> Even that if sucks. I, like, wasn't throwing up or, like... But I, I don't think I ever, like, pretended to be sick. Like, either I was sick or I didn't want to be so 